This is amazing. Now we have RAG for Autogen with multi AI agents. That means you are able to provide context when these AI agents are performing a task for you. In this, we are going to create a group chat manager with boss, Python engineer, project manager, and code reviewer. They are going to work together with context and answer based on that. There are two ways. One is retriever agent and also function calling method to invoke this rag. We are going to use Chroma DB to store our embeddings. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about rag in Autogen application. So what is rag in regards to multi agents? This is like the second brain for all these agents. So when a user asks questions to this agent, these agents will check the second brain or the embeddings database to find any relevant information and answer it accordingly. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to create all these agents and make them work together using context. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So the first step, pip install hyphen u for upgrade, open AI, PyAutogen, PyAutogen retrieve chat and chroma db and then click enter. Next, export your open AI API key like this and then click enter. Now create a file called oai underscore config underscore list and have this information there. You can change your model accordingly. Now we are going to create a file called app.py and let's open it. First import chroma db, then import autogen, assistant agent, retrieve user proxy agent. Now we're going to define the config autogen.config list from json. That's where we load our config oai config list. Next llm config, next termination message function and then we are providing the url and the question or the task to ask. So this url is the context and this is the question we are going to ask based on this context. So these are just basic configuration. Now we are going to create all these four agents and then assign them to a group chat manager. First, the boss agent with the basic configuration such as boss name, human input mode never, giving a system message, default auto reply and code execution false. Next, boss AID agent. This is the actual retriever user proxy agent we are providing the chroma db, the path where it need to get stored. And this boss assistant acts mainly as the rag or the assistant which contains the context. Here we have created two boss agent, one without context and one with context, just to see the comparison, how it works towards the end. Now creating the coder agent as a Python engineer. Next, the project manager agent, autogen dot assistant agent and providing the basic details. Next, the reviewer agent with the basic configuration. Now we have created all the four main agents. Next, we are going to define a reset function. This is just to reset when we want to compare no rag agents and rag agents, which you will see soon. Now we are going to create the no rag chat agents. First, starting with the reset agents. Next, adding the group chat agents equals boss, coder, PM and reviewer message is equal to empty. Then max round speaker selection method and allow repeat speaker. Next, we are creating the manager variable, autogen group chat manager and providing the group chat which we just created and then LLM config. Now we are going to initialize the chat with the manager and the problem statement. That is the question or the task which you are going to ask to those agents. Now we have created a group without rack that is without context. Next, we are going to create a group with context. Just initializing the function, creating a group with context. Here the variable is wrong. It should be message. Now creating a group chat with a rag. So same as before, but we are providing boss AID. That is the assistant which contains context. And we are going to print out and initiate the group chat. Now we have got all those agents and we have created group manager to manage those groups. Now we are going to compare both without rag and with rag. Here, this is problem. As you can see the difference here, previously it was message and here it is problem. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal python app.py and then click enter. First, it's starting with no rag chat. The question we are asking is 
how to use spark for parallel training in flaml give me a sample code so the first step it's using without context so it's just giving some random information from its own memory the next is with rag that means with context so you can see the url which we provided this is the url which we provided it contains information about flaml and code examples so that url is retrieved and converted to embeddings and stored in the memory in chroma db and next the boss assistant is providing the context which you can see here to the agent and use that context to give the response and here is the response from the code reviewer based on the context with the code which we asked for and finally it's terminating as we have seen before there are two ways to implement rack the first one is using retriever agent and the next one is using function calling now we are going to see how to implement rack using function calling coming back to the code we are going to define a function called function calling rack chat as usual we are going to reset those agents next we are going to define a retrieve content function so this function automatically retrieves the context from chroma db now boss id human input mode is never then llm config there we are defining the function definition that is retrieve chat which we have initiated here and then providing information about function calling the only required field is message so now we are going to pass this llm config to our agents to do that i'm going to loop through agents for agent in coder pm reviewer and you are updating the config there next we need to register those function so going to loop again to dot register underscore function and mapping those function finally we are going to initiate the group chat with the boss coder pm and reviewer now setting up the llm config for the manager and we are going to add the functions to that config now manager equals autogen dot group chat manager and we are providing the manager llm config which contains the function calling now we are going to initiate the chat boss dot initiate chat manager and the message that's it finally we are going to run the function so as a quick overview we create the function that function is using the boss id which contains the context then we are defining this function as a function definition in the llm config adding it to those agents and finally we are initiating the chat now i'm going to run this code with function calling rag in your terminal python app.py and click enter here you can see the function calling rag chat and this is the question we are asking based on the context and this question is getting converted to embeddings so that it can be searched in chroma db and finally we got the answer here so now this answer is based on the context which we provided through that url that's it as simple as that now you are able to implement rag in your own autogen applications I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.